Hello Internet, how are you? My name is Brian, if you are new here. Today we had the WWDC event where they're talking about a bunch of new software coming to your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac this fall. And there's a lot of cool things that they discussed, so I decided I wanted to do a little bit of a recap video for you guys so you guys know all the new cool features that they did announce today. One of their main things that they announced was Apple Intelligence, which is their venture into AI. This is Editing Brian here. I just want to give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer that yes, I am skipping over the AI portion. That is mainly because one, I don't understand it, Two, I do not support AI. And three, I just find a lot of the choices that Apple is doing in this AI focused iOS version to be very problematic and I just don't want to mention them. So we're not going to give them any screen time today. There's many other sources you can look at if you do want to learn more about Apple intelligence. But for me, I don't want to cover it. I'm not going to cover it. I don't want to talk about it. So that's it. So we're going to really skip over that, but we're going to be talking, of course, about iOS 18, iPadOS 18, macOS Sequoia, watchOS 11. So we're going to talk about all those cool new features. First, let's get into iOS 18. iOS 18 is a pretty cool redirection, redesign with a lot of awesome new features. I'm very excited about some of these cool features that they announced today. iOS 18, yours truly. Customize your iPhone in more ways than ever. Stay connected with friends and family. You live your favorite moments and with Apple intelligence, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about Apple intelligence. Customization was a really cool aspect. You can now personalize your home screen layout. What's cool about that is now you can actually put your icons wherever you want on the screen. This is just really cool because you can actually move your icon around to fit a certain photo or if you want to put them off to like the bottom if you want to put them towards the top you can also even create new app icon looks based off of your wallpaper which is really cool so it allows you to have this really cool slider where you can see the small icons or large icons you can see if you want to do a dark mode a light mode or even a themed tinted mode which is really cool you can also lock and hide away apps which is really cool there's also a really really huge update to control center now this control center looks extremely different and different from what they did before I like it a lot how there's now new pages Pages for things. There's also a control center gallery now, which allows you to add a bunch of new features and allows you to add new apps. So you can also rearrange your control center icons. You can give them new sizes. You can put them in different orders. And on top of that, you can swap out your lock screen controls to do something different. They finally did that after years. Now, photos also got a huge update. Basically, entirely reorganized the way the photos looks. So now that there is a new collections feature, which actually combines things together, such as pictures you took in your recent days, your trips, people, and pets, there is now a new space for your Grizz hits, which is a new carousel that shows you a bunch of cool favorites pictures. Messages, now that there is new ways to play with text, you have new text features, that allows you to do either bold, italics, underline through. You can even apply playful animations to any word, letter, phrase, or emoji in iMessage. And now you can tap back to any message with any emoji or sticker that you have on your phone which is quite cool they reanimated some of the new tap backs but you can also add emojis to your tap backs which i find that really cool and i'm very excited about that and what's also really cool about messages is now you can stay connected whether you have wi-fi or cellular or nothing at all you can actually send i messages and text messages over satellite which is so cool and so convenient especially for people who are in a spot where there's no cell service so you have an iphone 14 or later you can stay connected with your friends and family with satellite messages you can also now schedule a message to send later and now you have support for RCS messaging to message people with Android devices. There's a bunch of new mail customizations as well. There's now categorization, which is going to be coming to the mail app. You can now get to priority access to what you want most with the primary tab. You can even have message groups for scanning. I know your emails are going to be put together in one area, which I find that really cool. Safari got some really cool updates too. There's now Safari highlights, which will automatically deliver, deliver relevant information on a page and highlight to you when you browse. There's also a smarter redesigned reader to Safari, which allows you to have better summary towards things you read in Safari. I found that super interesting. I wish they had that back when I was a student because that would have been really, really, really helpful if they had that. There's also now a passwords app. Finally, all your passwords are going to be in one place on your iPhone and on your Mac and everything else. There is now a new maps and now there is game mode available on iPhone. Wallet got a really huge update because now allows you to have tap to cash. It allows you to bring two iPhones together and you can pay privately. You can also pay using rewards and pay in installments now. And now even tickets for like concert tickets. Now there's really cool new event guides. Now there's hands-free Siri interactions. So whenever you get a phone call and Siri announces it, you can either 
to answer a phone call or shake to dismiss a phone call. Now in notes, there's a new thing called live audio transcription. You can now crunch numbers right in notes, which is quite cool. There's now collapsible sections in notes as well. And highlighting is a lot easier now as well. Journal app got a lot of new ways you can add your mood directly into there. You can also add other features. You can even track your goals, your insights. You can even sort and search past previous entries. So now you can actually search for your previous entries, which is quite cool. And there's also a bunch of other new features as well. iOS 18 is available on all iPhones, iPhone 10R or later, which is quite cool. Now let's move on to iPad OS 18. So iPad OS 18 also has access to the new Apple Intelligence. It's totally rewrites rules, which is quite cool. We're not gonna talk about Apple Intelligence again, but one of the new features is now Smart Script handwriting. So now you can jot down thoughts fast and let Smart Script smooth them out for you, which is quite cool. Uh, this is really cool for making uh, handwritten notes. Now they've added the freaking calculator app to the iPad. It's been 14 years, Apple. It took wow. 14 years to add the app calculator app oh my god so now there's math notes with apple pencil apple pencil you take your apple pencil you draw some math on it uh, a lot of these things are just pullovers from ios 18. Now there's new share play functions which allows you to tap and draw in with in-screen sharing, which is quite cool. This is really cool because you can actually help your friends and family learn the device by tapping and drawing on their screen to point out what they should do with theirs, which I find that really cool. Better apps on the iPad. Now there's a new redesigned tab bar, which allows you to have a very organized app layout for your iPad. And yeah, that's iPadOS 18. It's pretty similar to the last one. It's just a bunch of new iOS 18 features added and let's move on. So we're just gonna speed through a couple of them now. Watch OS 11, you got a couple new things. You got new updated uh, watch faces and new widgets that are update to you, like your location and where you're at. You got a new vital app, which is quite interesting, I guess. You can track your vitals more efficiently. And there's other new watch faces. You can have better control of your watch faces. I mean, there's just, there's not that much. So yeah, vitals, woohoo, who's training load, woohoo photo faces it now knows your people's faces <laughs> or something you got better cycle tracking and better smart stack it's pretty basic it's pretty bare bones here vision os we're not gonna get into vision os because no one has an apple vision pro apple vision pro is still 3500 dollars apple 3500 dollars i'm not buying an apple vision pro you can learn about apple vision pro if you have an apple vision i'm not gonna waste my time on it <laughs> Let's get into macOS Sequoia because there's a kind of bunch of cool features in macOS Sequoia I want to cover. Continuity, you can use your iPhone from your Mac now. So now if your iPhone is on the same Wi-Fi network and it's nearby, you can mirror your iPhone screen directly onto your Mac and you can use your iPhone on your Mac, which is just so freaking cool. I can see this being so, so, so useful. You also can now get your iPhone notifications on your Mac and you can seamlessly drag and drop files between your iPhone and your Mac. This is game changing for content creators. I am so excited for this to come out. Their productivity, now there's easy window tiling in here, which just kind of looks like Windows, which is kind of funny. There's now a presenter view, which gives you a better view when you're, you're FaceTiming someone. And this is what macOS Sequoia is a, compatible with. Here's the compatibility list. So that is macOS Sequoia. But that is it for our WWDC 2024 recap. Tell me guys what you think about iOS 18, and Apple intelligence, and all that type of stuff in the comment section down below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notifications on whenever I upload a video. Be sure to leave me a like if you like this video a lot and be sure to just let me know other things in the comments. Thank you guys so much for listening to this video and watching this video. I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye.